first open up Max, you've got four viewports. This is your perspective view, front, top, and left views. Your perspective view contains perspective, which means that it allows things to diminish the further away they are from you. Your front, top, and left views are what are known as axonometric views, and they do not contain perspective. Now, to navigate through your viewports, to begin with, just to give you something to look at, we're going to make a box. So you click and drag, let go, push upwards, and click. Now, it's pretty big in the perspective viewport, so let's zoom out. Now, you can do that by either clicking the zoom button down on the bottom right-hand corner, or simply scrolling your mouse wheel. To pan, you can either click the pan hand, handle down here in the bottom right, or press and hold the middle mouse button. To orbit your view, you can press the orbit subobject, object view down in the bottom right hand corner, or press alt and middle mouse button. Now the orbit tool has three different options. The first option rotates the orbit around the center of the view that you're looking at. So it'll be smack bang in the middle of the center of this, this little screen here. Second option, orbits around the selected object. I like to leave it on the bottom one, which allows you to orbit around the selected object. And if you're in sub-object mode, so if you're editing your polygons, your vertices, your faces, and your edges, for example, it allows you to orbit around the selected sub-object. If you're not in sub-object mode, it defaults to the middle of the, the object itself. I like that. Now, in Max 2013, you've got this sparkling new feature here, which allows you to access your different viewport layouts with a click of a button. Very useful. So if you don't like the four view, you can click this one here, this one here, for example, and then quickly click between them so you can change your layouts. To delete one of these views, you delete the tabs, right click to delete. These viewport layouts are also accessible under views, viewport configuration and layout and you can access them there and that's the old way of doing it so if you're using an older version of Max that's how you find the same thing right now the views to change from wireframe to shaded view or to realistic view it's F3 in any viewport F3 But you can also change it by clicking the word wireframe here and changing it to either realistic, shaded. So realistic allows you to have shadows in your scene. Shaded does not contain shadows. Consistent colors loses the shading on the faces. Edged faces allows you to see the segments inside your object. Check out the facets. Hidden line render. Quite like that one. Wireframe just the bounding box of the object and because this is a box you can't see any difference have a look at it in clay nice and orange or you can check out one of the stylized views so you can see how it looks in colored pencil view for example very cool I tend to use shaded and edged faces now what I mean by perspective views if I orbit these objects and position them so they're approximately the same position like that the differences between them are that in your orthographic view this edge here this edge here and this edge here are the same distance I'm just got edge faces so you can see the edges there you go this edge here and this edge here are the same if you measured it with a ruler they'd be the same length Whereas in the perspective view, this edge at the back is smaller than the one at the front because it's further away from you. Once you've used your orbit tool, your front, top and left viewports change to orthographic views. Now you can get back to the original views by clicking the viewport label and choosing the view that you like, front, top, back, left and so on. I'm going to leave it on front. I like to leave the full view in the default state, but other people like to customize. Another way of accessing the same feature is to click this little view cube here 
and click these little arrows which allow you to whiz around front, left, top and to rotate around the views quite quickly and easily. Now if you click and drag on this circle at the bottom it allows you to orbit your view. Very useful. Back to your front view. Now if you click these viewport labels you can see that the shortcuts are here. Perspective is P, orthographic is U, top T, bottom B, front F, back doesn't have a shortcut and left L and right doesn't have a shortcut. The little plus signs allow you to access your maximized viewport controls which you can also access by pressing Alt W or by pressing this little button right on the right hand, bottom right hand side, the maximize viewport toggle. And that makes your full view into one view. Now your selected viewport is the one that has the highlight around it, this little yellow edge here that you're seeing. If you left click your selected viewport, you are able to select the viewport but it will deselect the object. However, if you right click, I'm just going to click it so we've got it selected. If you right click the viewports, it allows you to select the viewport without deselecting the object. Now that's our rundown through the viewports. Hope you join me next time where we're going to have a look at the animation controls.